All right, guys, we are back with this quick silver pinball from Stern build video. Welcome to part four. I hope you have watched the first three parts. The guys that did watch part one, two, and three, you guys have been asking me where is an update video? What's going on, Retro Django? I know, guys, but I have been working with these pinball with this one and the other one over here like crazy. I thought I got, you know, pretty playable pinball machines, but I got sent to project pinball machines. So at the beginning here at top, uh, the flippers, this one was sticky and I fixed that. So this one works fine. This one needs new coil stop. It's, it's a mess. So that one needs to be replaced. The uh, drop down targets here are fully working now. I'm so proud of it. Everything works. So uh, that's perfect. Drop downs over here. We had issues. Um, if we reset here, if you look at, yeah, you can see the what this one. Um, if you if you look at here, it's just worn off, so it needs brand new uh, drop down target. I can't fix that. The plastic is just worn off. So <laughs> most of these switches do work now. All these that were dead, I replaced them. I um, or they were just you know cut off I, I i put them on place i have cleaned the um switches i have cleaned the switches for the uh, pop bombers so they work huge issues with switches um huge issues with the lamps oh my god they were just yeah about 70 percent are working now as you can see I have taken out the inserts. Let me just put down the play field so you can see what I'm talking about. And when you want to work with these old machines, you can actually let, let it rest on these two slingshots over there, down at the lockdown bar. So let's go ahead and do so. Look at them inserts. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where to start. Just look at this play field, guys. These inserts, they're okay. I mean, you can see they're shrunken just in half a millimeter, but it doesn't react the ball's uh, reaction, no, nothing. So that's all fine by me. Same, um, same over here, there. This one is lifted a bit. This one over is lifted a bit. I have to take care of them. Silver is fine, quick up top is fine, but here in the middle, as you can see, I have actually removed them all because, you know, they had, they have been uh, shrunken over the years because of the, you know, lights getting too hot and just ruining everything so every time ball rolled over these they will change direction or just get stuck here and really a mess guys really it's <laughs> really project pinballs machines <laughs> pinball machines i got home from germany this one in the middle is good but i took out all of them and the way you do that you remove cables everything at the back side and then you heat these up from the back side, the underside of the play field. And when they're uh, hot enough, you can very, um, no force, no nothing, very slowly just press them out with an even pressure like this and just press them out. In my case, <laughs> Some of these uh, didn't even need to be heated up, they just fell out. So, I mean, the glue is gone. It was held up with old residue from wax. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand these down so all this black line will be gone. But, lucky me, <laughs> as you can see, we have nothing written in there, it's just some black um, graphics that I can put again with a Sharpie. That's not an issue, um, but I want them to be even. So when I play this game, 
the ball will not change its trajectory when it comes back. It, it has to roll over perfect. I, I, of course, good looking game is amazing, but I want I want them to play perfect. So um, yeah, I'm gonna sand this down. I'm gonna put some glue here and I'm gonna press this down really carefully so they, they just sit like it was 1980. So that's a little update guys. As you can see, I have replaced all the rubber. I have cleaned partially the play field. Not all wax is not gone. As you can see, we still have some wax residue here and there, but it's just much, much better than <laughs> when it came home. As you can see, it looks, it looks really nice. And I'm really, really looking forward to playing this game, guys. This is a, this is just the holy grail of all classic pinball machines for me and for many, many others. So the next part will, I will order a new, new um, PS, uh, Richter Fryer card because it's, it's just so damaged. So I have no light at the back box and everything. Yeah, so many issues with this, but I will buy new parts and make sure that it will be a playable game. But this, this is just, this is so important. So if your game has got these shrunken inserts, take good care of them. Because as you can see, the owners before me didn't do that. So the ball went into the hole and destroyed the play field. The way back into the hole and destroyed the play field everything over here so it's just so so lame <laughs> also here as i as you can see we have got leg sand protectors we've got play field protect uh, plastic protectors everywhere and while making a few test games i shot the ball up to the slingshot and it just flew up and hit this one and destroyed the plastic protector and plastic also some says put williams uh, double uh, star posts here but they are shorter so this plastic will be lowered if i do that i don't know if that's the solution but i need a new one of these or if i can find if i can find it down here i will try to glue it on uh, other than that this is the update guys and from now on you will there, there will go some time before i will make another update because as you can see I have to put a lot of hours of work into this and um, someday it will be a fully playable game I hope and I will make a gameplay video and I'm gonna enjoy this but a lot of man hours and a lot of money has to be put into this this old classic but it's worth it because I have watched one video gameplay with this I don't know the rules I don't know how it plays but that video would slam chill youtube channel i just fell in love with this game and when people are talking about this game they're just they're saying it's the best so i just can't wait guys also uh, it was just smashed here so i just you know um gave you some black as you can see look looks much better now compared with, with video one two and three i have vacuumed in there so it's a bit cleaner and yeah, go in and check out video one, two, three there, so, so you can see how much difference this makes after, uh, I don't know, a week of work. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you to see you on Quicksilver video part five. And that won't be any day soon, so stop poking me. <laughs> Have a great one out there. Bye. These are going to be washed, cleaned, sanded, so they're all flat and all the black is completely gone. Of course the white also. All flat and get installed over here. As you can see, we still have some wear spot up there, but I can live with that. So upcoming video is gonna be gonna be all about these inserts and a proper gameplay feeling stay tuned guys